everybody, I'm Alicia TV here with Enterprising Women TV, the place to be to meet the top women CEOs in the world. And today I'm here with one. I'd like to introduce you to Shona McKenzie, managing partner of Sturgeon Ventures, right there in London, UK. Welcome to the United States. Thank you. And congratulations because you are an Enterprising Women of the Year Award recipient. How does it feel? Well, I was amazed that I won or that I was one of the winners, um, especially being from the UK and this is an American magazine. So to begin... It's an international magazine. Well, it's an international magazine, but <laughs> its reach is just beginning out of the US. Exactly. So, so I was delighted to be involved. It's been an amazing day, last couple of days, learning about what other women in the US and other parts of the world do. Well, congratulations again on your success, but I want to talk a little bit about your company, Sturgeon Ventures. So tell me about what you do. Okay, Sturgeon Ventures I started 14 years ago. Originally we were what's called an American single family office, so I managed the money for one private family until 2004 when our principal died. So I kind of had to reinvent the wheel and I saw a gap in the market. So what we actually do is we incubate startup fund managers and people who do corporate finance. So they buy and sell companies and they also raise venture capital and right. they launch funds. So we are based in the UK, but all the funds that are launched are usually offshore. So they're based in the Cayman Islands, Guernsey, wow. Jersey. And we often have US companies that want to start in Europe and we act as a gateway. Wow, how did you come up with this concept? Well, I'd been a, a US stockbroker for 15 years, so I kind of knew you how it worked. You saw the need. I saw the need, and I had a friend's license parked inside my company, and when I had to change my business direction, I thought, why don't I do it commercially and charge people for incubating inside me? Oh my gosh. So how did you become on Wall Street? What, where did that stem from? So, so my very first job I ever did, I worked at McKinsey's, the management consultant. So I was already in a US frame of mind. And I started, I've worked at all American firms that are now no longer. So I started at Dean Witter, that's now part of Morgan Stanley. And then I went through lots of different US firms. So I think in the eyes of most stockbrokers, I know a lot about a lot. You do know a lot about a lot. Wow, I am so impressed. You know, you, I rarely meet a woman who um, handles that side of the business because it's such a, it's such a vague area. We all want to know how to get that venture, venture capital. We all want to know how to build and grow our businesses. Um, so you sound like the go-to woman when it comes to that. Well, what we, what we do is effectively we work with a lot of very senior people out of big banks who've been in investment banks for years and they want to break away and be entrepreneurs. Now they've, they've been in very large companies with everything going on around them. When they come to us, they have to learn everything, how to run a business. So what we're really teaching them is all the compliance, all the regulatory side, that's what we do. But also little things like registering your own trademark, get, getting involved in data protection, all the policies for the website. So we do effectively legal, compliance, and then marketing. So they. They'll write a presentation to go and raise money for a fund. They have to present to me first. I rip it apart or don't rip it apart. Wow. Because I've been the buyer and the seller of funds. So effectively, I'm their best person to present to first. And once they kind of pass the gate with me, they can go out into the big wide world. Once they have a fund of as much as 10, 15 or higher millions, they usually get independently regulated by the regulator and they break away and then we do their ongoing regulatory compliance. The big thing now is, especially with the US, is a lot of US regulations are coming into Europe and we're doing vice versa into the US. So this year there's... That is vice versa. And this year, I don't know why, has become more complicated than ever. So in July this year, we've got something called the AIFMD, which is the Alternative Investment Fund Managers Directive. Right. So the Cayman funds, which are mainly managed by US managers, can't market in Europe after the next two years unless they have an EU manager. So right now, we're a great gateway to those managers from the US to learn what's going on in Europe because they want European money. Wow, it, it's so fascinating what you do and your passion is just obvious. So how can people get a hold of you and what would they um, more importantly ask for? So, so most people that come to us come to us through lawyers. 
So we become a solution to a lawyer. Oh. So I would say 99% of our clients come to us through a law firm, either in the US or the UK or other parts of the world, who want to, the, F, the FCA, which is now called the Financial Conduct Authority, is our regulator, like you have FINRA. Yes. And so the lawyers uh, are approached by newbie financial services companies and they want to begin. If they go directly to the regulator, mm -hmm. got to have regulatory capital, experience, and it takes up to six months. If they come to us, they can be up and running in two weeks. What? They can be a one-man band. I can sit on their investment committee and they can launch their funds. Well, I think you've said it all. That is very exciting. Thank you again so much. Um, Sturgeon Ventures, now before I let you go, this is Enterprising Women TV. A lot of women out there are budding entrepreneurs wanting to have the success you've had in your company. What word of advice or piece of advice would you give them? I would say, and I say this to people all the time, it's believe you can do it. Because so many people have fear of getting going. And, the, and what breaks that fear is to try. Have you had people tell you you couldn't do it? All my life, because I worked in a man's world. I worked on Wall Street and Wall Street firms where women don't go and do it. And I was proof, and being a winner here, I think is proof that you can do it if you try. What's one thing that you took from your time as on Wall Street and really use in your business today? Is there anything that you would say? Yeah, I'd say that the most important thing is to build relationships. That's the key thing, is, is for all, certainly for my business, yes. is to engage and listen. Engagement is one of my favorite words ever. And listen, because I think a lot of men are really actually appreciate working with partnerships, because that's what effectively we become, with someone who's gonna to listen to them. Thank you so much again for your time. To find out more about Sturgeon Ventures, you can visit her website right below. And as always, have a great day. See you next time, bye-bye.